Turning now to tonight's Project Drive Safer report and our efforts to get safer drivers on Milwaukee roads. Today we are looking at license plates, which are deteriorating all across Wisconsin at a very rapid rate, and it can impact how law enforcement does its job. The I team Sean Gallagher shows us how the stage, the state rather, is stepping up to make a change. Chipped, cracked, flaking beyond repair. More often, it seems, license plates in Wisconsin are wasting away to nothing. And it could cost you. I got pulled over because my license plates were unreadable. Tyrone Damas got stopped by police in Cottage Grove last year because his plates were so worn. One little piece came off and then another little piece came off and suddenly half of it came off. He lucked out. The cops gave him a warning, but if he had been ticketed, it could have cost him up to $200. And I thought, well, what is wrong? What's going on with these plates? In the last five years, the Milwaukee police have given out 22 citations for illegible license plates. To get an idea, if this is more of a widespread problem, we came to the Midtown Center parking lot to see how many worn plates we could find. Over the course of two days, that's one, two, three, for about an hour total, four, five, Six, we found a dozen cars, seven, eight, nine, with license plates too hard to read, 10, 11, 12. So I didn't realize there were so many like this. Senator Van Wangard is among the lawmakers trying to fix the problem, which is more than just a cosmetic one. Hard to read plates can make it easier for bad drivers to skirt the system. We have plate readers that will read plates at parking garages and for traffic enforcement. Uh, it's difficult to find stolen vehicles because the plate's not being read proper. I mean, so there's a whole lot of unintended consequences that occur. The problem is twofold, according to Wangard. In the 2009 budget, the state stopped automatically reissuing license plates every 10 years. And in the last 10 years, the state switched manufacturers for the sheeting that goes over the plate, and it wasn't as high of quality which is proving to be the biggest issue. We are having more problems with uh, the sheeting. Wangard says the state will once again switch companies and he expects new high quality sheeting to start being used later this month. The material had uh, actually started de to denigrate earlier than what was expected for it to do that. Any guess as to how many Wisconsinites were impacted by this? It's gotta be thousands. According to the Wisconsin DOT, there are 1.8 million plates in circulation that are more than 10 years old. On top of the new sheeting, state leaders also changed the law back in March of last year. So now drivers can expect a new license plate every 10 years. This means drivers like Tyrone should not have this problem again. So I paid for this product. If the product is not going to last, that shouldn't be on me. Senator Wangard says it could take up to seven years to fully replace all of the plates in the entire state. The Milwaukee Police Department says they will cite you if you have illegible plates, but if you can bring proof of those new plates to the department, they'll throw out that citation within 10 days. 